It's time again for the Science Bowl. Zoo Parade for five. What big teeth the hippo has are actually a pair of these. Science Potpourri for 10. Would a snake most likely eat every day? Every week, Dateline Science for 10. Why are some elephants wearing necklaces these days? Green things for 15. And now, here's your host, Mr. Z himself, Dave Zarin. Thank you, and welcome to this elementary edition of Science Bowl. Two grade schools here playing our game. Let's meet them now. First, from Bond Mill Elementary, please say hello, if you would please, to Bridget Cartman and Therese Greaves and Michael Igo. And from Hollywood Elementary School, our players today are Maria Kashapada, Syria Radhakrishnan, and Anne Lorraine Santos. And now here are the categories of questions we use on Science Bowl. Okay, Mr. Z, here's today's categories. Green things, questions about plants and all things green and growing. Zoo Parade, a Noah's Ark of questions about animals. Body systems, we'll see how much you know about yourself, about things like breathing and growing and digesting your food. Let's get physical. Questions that test your knowledge of physics and chemistry, earth science and space science. Then there's science potpourri. Here's a grab bag of science questions. Everything from air pollution to the kitchen zinc. And finally, Dateline Science. We'll ask you about science history and science in the news. Here on Science Bowl, we arrange our game board according to question difficulty. With the easier questions on the left worth 5 and 10 points, the tougher ones worth 15, 20, and ultimately 25, the toughest question of them all. Both of our teams start out at 50 points apiece. No penalties for incorrect answers. End of the two rounds today, we will have a potential semifinalist for this year's elementary competition. So there's a lot at stake today. Let's make sure everything's working properly. Let's go to Bond Mill and Antares. Would you try your buzzer for me? Thank you. Good luck to you, to Bridget, and to Michael. And Surya, would you try the green buzzer? It looks good to me, too. Good luck to you, to Anne Lorraine and Maria. Congratulations for having made it this far in our competition. Let's have a good game. We go alphabetically B before H. So, Anne Therese, let's start the game. Give me a category and a number, please. Soup parade for 10. Soup parade for 10 points. Teams, in order to cut down on the thousands of these aliens living in the Florida Everglades, Florida is issuing a bounty to hunters to kill these reptiles, which make very nice wallets and boots. Hollywood. Yes, ma'am. Crocodiles? Not crocodiles. Good try. These thousands of aliens living in the Everglades, there are so many there, Florida says to the hunters, go out and shoot them. We'll pay you to kill them. And these reptiles make very nice wallets and boots. Alligators? Pythons, snakes, aliens was the key word there because the alligators and the crocodiles, they are native there. But people are releasing their pets and they're going amok because nothing is there to control them. Try again, Red. Zoo Parade for 15. Zoo Parade for 15 points. Teams, there is a frog in Tanzania called the spray frog, but it does not lay eggs like a typical amphibian. It's more like a viviparous animal. Its young are what? Hollywood. What do you think? Like given birth. You're absolutely right. They are born live, just like a viviparous animal like we and other mammals, most other mammals. All right, green. Your turn. Surya, pick one. Science, potpourri for 20. Potpourri for 20 points. Teams, if you're worried about indoor air pollution, indoor air pollution, before you buy these, you've got to ask yourself, do I want those that are made of soy or paraffin? What are you buying for your house? You're buying candles. You're buying candles. Paraffin is wax. You can also get them made out of soy, which is less polluting. Try again, green. Um, body system for 20. Body system for? 20. 20. All right, here's your question. Teams on television, there's that lady called the colon lady. She's one I know all about diarrhea and constipation. She knows a little too much. She might also have another name. She could be called what other kind of lady, which is a synonym for colon. What body organ is a synonym for colon? 
That's the large intestine. The large intestine is another name for the colon. All right, let's try for some questions that we can get. Green? Um, let's get physical for 15. Get physical for 15 points. Teams, your question, if you had any doubt that air has buoyancy, all you have to do is note that balloons that are filled with this gas, Hollywood? Helium. Helium, yes. Helium-filled balloons will float in air. That tells you that air has buoyancy. All right, go again. Let's get physical for 20. Let's get physical for 20 points. Teams, now environmental scientists say that the absolute perfect amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere should be 450 ppms. I'll give you these points if you can tell me what ppms stand for. 450 ppms. What does that stand for? That's parts per million, parts per million. Try again, green. Um, let's go with Dateline for 20. Dateline for 20 points. Teams, there's a famous institute in Paris named for a famous bacteriologist who gave us a method for making milk safe to drink. Hollywood. Um, Pasteur? Pasteur, Louis Pasteur, the famed Pasteur Institute in Paris. Absolutely right. He is actually the father of bacteriology. We didn't know much about the germ theory until he came along. Tremendous man. Go. Green, Dateline. you're at 100 points. Dateline for 15? Dateline for 15 points. Teams, there's a new book out called Mary Anning, The Fossil Hunter. It is a book about a woman who is one of the few women ever to study this branch of science. She's a fossil hunter. Come on, Bon Mill. Archaeology? Not archaeology. Good try. Hollywood. The fossil hunter, Mary Anning, one of the few women to excel in what field of science? It's paleontology. Paleontology. So many amateur paleontologists out there. Near Bon Mill, there's a place where you can go dig for dinosaurs now. All right, try again, Green. Zoo parade for 20. Zoo parade for 20 points. Teams, squirrels have been seen chewing on snake skins and then rubbing the scent all over their fur. Why are they doing that for 20 points? Why would they be doing that? Come on, Hollywood. So, like, snakes, snakes won't eat them because they smell the same. They're, they're like, the snakes won't come after them because they're, they're like, the same as them. They smell the same. They smell the same, yes. It's kind of a chemical camouflage, so the snake doesn't see the squirrel as a squirrel, but as another snake. All right, good. Green. Um, body systems for 15? Body systems for 15 points. A multiple choice question for you, teams. Teams, if you don't have enough red blood cells, are you suffering from and Hmm, Hollywood. Isn't it sickle cell anemia? Anemia is absolutely correct. Yes, we were going to give you uh, uh, anemia, uh, anorexia, or alopecia, and you knew that without the choices. All right, we come to the end of the first round. Hollywood is in the lead with 135. Bond Mill is at 50, but they'll be coming into their own in the second half. We'll be back in a moment. Don't go away. And welcome back to Science Bowl. Glad you're with us today. Thank you for spending part of your time here. We are headed toward the elementary school finals, and one of today's two teams might be part of the final four. Let's find out a little bit about them before we ask them any more scientific questions so you can relax your buzzer fingers there for a moment. Bond Mill. Tell us about Bond Mill. And Therese, you know, Bond Mill has been part of our competition for 24 years. And your sponsor up there, Miss Kathy Jacobs, has been with us the entire way. She's just a phenomenal lady. She always send us, sends us a great team. Tell us more about Bond Mill. And Therese, what do you like about your school? What do you like? Well, since we have such great teachers like Miss Jacobs, she's my teacher, yes. and Mr. Fitzgerald. Who's the principal out there, Aunt Therese? Mr. Fitzgerald. Mr. Yes, Fitzgerald, very good. And uh, tell me, uh, were there any alternates on your team? Yes. Um, Jeremiah Grimes, Olivia Petty John Robin, and. Hmm, what? Mike and Bridget, can you help her out? Has she forgotten somebody? Emma. <laughs> I'm sorry? Emma. Emma. All right. We'll have all those alternates come out in a moment with Miss Jacobs so you can meet them. It's kind of hard to remember those names without a script and all these lights in your eyes. Thank you, Mike and Bridget, for helping her. Uh, Aunt Therese, you told me earlier that you'd like to be an actress. You're already acting, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. Tell us about uh, how you got interested in that. Well, 
I don't know. Just watching so many TV shows sometimes just makes me want to do that because I like just how much how entertaining it is. Absolutely. We all like to be entertained. They call it the suspension of disbelief. We like to watch things like Avatar, and even though we know it's not true, we want to believe it's true, and those actors make us believe that. So uh, good luck to you. That requires a, a special skill, and you've got the poise and the, and the looks to be an actress, so uh, you're headed in the right direction. Mike, nice to have you here. Tell me what you do in your spare time. Uh, I like to pet my dog a lot. Yeah? And what kind of dog do you have? I have a beagle. A beagle. What's the beagle's name? Her name is Penny. Penny, yeah. Wonderful. I was just watching the Westminster Dog Show. I think a Scottish Terrier won, the year, won this year. But a beagle has won in the past because, you know, they're, they're just great dogs. What do you want to do someday? I know you like video games. Yeah, I might want to become a video game tester, but I also am thinking about being a robotic engineer. Wonderful. All right, you got a good head on your shoulders over there, Mike. Bridget, nice to have you here, a young lady who is musically accomplished. You play the cello, don't you? Yes. Yeah, what else do you do in your spare time? Um, I horseback ride. Mm -hmm. um, I know you like to read, yes. and you're a writer. And tell people where you want to go to school. Vassar College. Vassar College, which is an elite school. Used to be an all-girls school, but uh, you tell me your brother goes there, right? Yes. So it's co-ed now, and you have a sister that might go, so it could be uh, your whole family could be going to Vassar at some point. Maybe. Maybe. Well, you're a talented young lady. It's nice to have you with us today. Hollywood, nice to have you guys here. Maria and Surya and Anne Lorraine, all wearing matching shirts, the Hollywood stars. And Maria, what's that you've got next to you there? Hold it up so we can see it at home. Very good. And what is it? It's a star mascot. That's your star mascot, the Hollywood stars. All right. Surya, uh, who's the principal at your school? Miss Barbara Kasky. Yes, and she's out there rooting for you. And Miss Jennifer Garrity, she's their new sponsor this year, and she is so excited to have you guys involved. And you're just looking at part of the team here. There's a shadow team plus one or two out there in the wings. You'll meet them in a moment. Who else do you have on your team, Surya? We have Robert Rexroad. Um, Jim Marlo Santos, we have Michelle Ibera and Aaron Mugabe. Wonderful. We'll bring them out in just a little bit. So, yeah, tell me about your ambitions. Well, I would like to be like something in science, maybe a doctor or something like that. Mm. And I was thinking about being an author or a sports player. An author or a? Sports player. Sports player. Very good. And you also, she told me earlier she wants to be the eh, president of the United States. Why not? There's not been a woman yet, so we could be looking at the future first female president of the United States. You're a very good team captain, and I like how you solicit information from your two uh, colleagues over there, and that's just what you've got to do if you want to be a leader. Good luck to you. And Lorraine, nice to have you here. You, too, have an interest in science, don't you? Yes. Yeah. What kind of science would you like to practice someday? Um... I want to practice on, um, like, learning on technologies. Technology, very good. And this young lady is very interested in origami because when she came to this country from the Philippines, is that right? You happen to see it online, correct? Hmm? Did you see it online? Your mother clicked on it? Actually, I saw it on TV. On TV? Ah, yeah. What are some of the things you've made with origami? Um, tulip, mm -hmm. um, bird, turtle, dog, um, fish, uh, Wire hat. Um, I can't remember. Some no, that's that's a lot, and they make nice gifts and keepsakes too. So, and it requires dexterity. So, congratulations to you on that, Maria. Nice to have you with us today. Tell me about what you do in your spare time. Um, I play my clarinet and violin. Mm. Um, I like to sing, and I'm also on the cheerleading team. Cheerlead, and you cheerlead for a college park team, don't you? Mm -hmm. What's the team called? Uh, College Park Boys and Girls Club. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Nice to have you young ladies with us today. Let's get back to our game. Hollywood has 135, Vaughn Mill has 50. We've taken a lot of the higher point questions. Some of the lower point ones might be easier to answer. They also can add up for you. You decide the strategy, but Vaughn Mill, you've got some work ahead of you here. Let's get back to it. Green team, start us out. Surya. Green things for 15. Green things for 15 points. Teams, you might say that the Redwood Forest equivalent under the sea are these k initial plants that can grow 100 feet tall hollywood kelp kelp the kelp forest absolutely right 
If you watch SpongeBob, you know the kelp forest is down there. Go green. Science potpourri for 15. Potpourri for 15 points. Teams, this is an unusual question. Gym bags now have solar panels that take the sun's light and recharge your cell phone. Kind of like plants do. Hollywood? Like yeah. the leaves trap the sunlight for the leaves trap the sunlight for the plant. More information. And it they produce they with the process of photosynthesis they make food and sugar. And, and what's one of the requirements for photosynthesis in those leaves? Um sunlight and water and they get and they make sugar and oxygen. Mm. So close, so close. Vaughn Mill, what is the name of the photopigment in the leaves that does permit photosynthesis to take place that is very similar to this solar collector in the gym bag that is recharging the cell phones? Chloroplast or chlorophyll. Correct. That's what I wanted to hear. You came so close, sir. I'm sorry to put you through all that, but you got your first points. Now, come on, Antares. Let's go. Green things. Green things for 10. Green things for 10 points. Teams, some of the hardwood trees around the Chesapeake Bay are bulking up, not because there are more nutrients in the soil, but because there is more of this gas in the atmosphere. Hollywood. Carbon yeah. dioxide? Carbon dioxide, absolutely right. Again, this is a photosynthesis kind of question. You need CO2 to produce that bulk. Good, go, green. Um, Zoo parade for 25. Zoo parade for 25. Big one in that category, teams. The first extinct animal known to science was an ichthyosaur, a marine reptile that looks a lot like a what kind of animal? An ichthyosaur, a marine ma a reptile, looks like a what kind of animal that you would recognize? Correct answer is fish. Ichthyo is a prefix. We ask you to study its prefixes and suffixes. Ichthyo as in ichthyology, the study of fish. Green. Um, green things for 20. Green things for 20 points. Teams, these plants were tree sized back in the dinosaur era. They're still almost that size in the tropics, but here in the northern hemisphere, you find these plants with their fronds on the floor of the forest growing from underground stems. What plants are we talking about? They would be ferns. Ferns. Try again green. Um, science potpourri for 25. Okay. Multiple choice question for 25 points. Teams, the Japanese have learned that if you polish rice, it looks good, but you have removed most of the healthy vitamin B. As a consequence, you are now opening yourself up to develop rickets, scurvy, or beriberi. Hollywood? Yes, ma'am? Rickets? Not rickets. Bon Mill, by removing the vitamin B from rice, when you polish it, you open yourself up to developing rickets, scurvy, or beriberi. Scurvy? The one neither of you chose. Scurvy is a lack of vitamin C. Rickets is vitamin D. Beriberi is vitamin B. Try again green. Again, try to get some questions you can answer. Dateline for 10. Dateline for 10 points. Teams? It's true, sad but true, even if your team is winning in the Super Bowl, these kinds of coronary events seem to occur, occur with regularity. People suffer these while watching the Super Bowl. Heart attacks, coronary was your clue. Go green. Science potpourri for 10. Potpourri for 10 points. Teams, if you're a glacier, a whale, or a cow, you can produce offspring by what same way? What's the verb when you produce a baby cow, a baby whale, a baby glacier? Calving, calving. You have a calf. You have a cow that produces a calf. Glaciers calve to produce icebergs. Try again, please. Green. Let's get physical for 10 points. Let's get physical for 10 points. Teams, this is embarrassing. The moon Charon was actually bigger, is actually bigger, than this planet that it orbits. Well, it used to be a planet. Von Mill? Yeah. Pluto. Pluto had three moons, one of which was bigger than itself. All right, come on, Aunt Therese. Five. What? Dateline for five. Dateline for five points. Teams, Heinz now has packaged this tomato-based condiment in an easier-to-use packet. Hollywood? Ketchup? Ketchup, sure, go. Um, science potpourri for five. Potpourri for five points. Teams, if you want to reduce your energy costs this summer, one simple thing, 
Paint all the shingles on your roof what color? Von Mill. Green. Nope. Hollywood, what color Green. would you paint all the shingles on your roof if you want to reduce your energy costs this summer? Yes? Red? White, because they reflect the sun. Go green. Um, let's get physical for five. It's physical for five points. Teams, it wasn't chicken noodle, but back when the earth was new and it was hot and bubbling and all of our chemicals were formed. Bon Mill? Soup. Soup, primordial soup. Good, go. Body systems for five. Body systems for five points. Your question. Even though best friends don't share a waist and an upper thigh, sometimes they can be so close that they're said to be joined at the what? Bon Mill. Bridget. Head. Not head. Good try. Even though they don't share an upper waist or an upper thigh, very close friends are said to be joined at the what? Hip. Hip. There was a movie like that. Matt Damon and another actor, they actually were physically joined at the hip. Try red. Uh, who's next? Red, go. Zoo Parade for five. Wait a minute. Is it, is it Hollywood or Bond Mill that's choosing? Bond Mill, or Antares. Okay, yes, ma'am. Zoo Parade for five. Zoo Parade for five points. Teams, even though these don't live under your bed, in real life, there is one. It's a lizard that lives in the southwest. Its name is a Gila what? Monster. Monster. There are no monsters under your bed. Try again, red. Green things for five. Green things for five points. Teams, this V initialed word is actually an adjective, not a noun. But when there's broccoli and peas and cauliflower on your plate, your mother will still say, eat your what? Hollywood? Vegetable. Vegetable, sure, good, go. Dateline for 25. Dateline for 25 points. Teams, we all know that Thomas Edison was a very famous inventor. His modern day equivalent is this man, the CEO of Apple Computers, who invented the iPhone, the iPod, and the iPad. Who is he for 25 points? Stephen, Stephen Jobs was his answer. Stephen Jobs. Go, Hollywood. Let's get physical for 25. Get physical for 25 points, teams. These cloud-like clusters of stars have names like snake, horsehead, crab, and pelican. What are these groups, these cloud-like clusters of stars called, Hollywood? Yes, ma'am. Constellation? Good try, good try. Not constellations, Bon Mill, what do you think? The crab, the horse head, the pelican, and the snake, cloud-like clusters of stars. Um, nebula? And that's what I want to hear. Good answer, good, go, red. Body systems for 10. Body systems for 10 points. Teams, long ago, in order to get the drum inside of this sense organ to work better, Hollywood? Ear? Ear. They would put little trumpets in the outside. Green. Body systems for 25. Body systems, 25 points. Teams, that caterpillar in the Alice in Wonderland story told Alice, you eat part of this mushroom, you're going to get very big. Eat the other part, you can shrink very small. Seems like there was what kind of H initial chemical inside that mushroom? Bond Mill? Hormone. Hormone, you got it. Last question of the game, green things for 25 points. Teams, the movie Avatar was filmed on the island of Kauai in Hawaii. In this area, an A initialed area that you might call a zoo for trees because there were so many different kinds of trees in this area. What is that A initialed area called? That's an arboretum, an arboretum. Our game is over. We'll be back with a wrap up in one moment. Don't go away. And welcome back to Science Bowl. Almost, Bond Mill made a run there at the end. They're a wonderful team, but they came just short. Our winner today with 180 points, Hollywood. And Lorraine, and Surya, and Maria, congratulations. And the constellation of stars in the back there. Say hello to Robert and Aaron, and you can wave, guys, and John and Michelle and Miss Garrity. We're gonna see you in the next round. Bond Mill, you had a good try there at the end, and you came up with some good answers there. Nebula, we almost nailed it there for you, and Therese, and Michael, and Bridget. Congratulations. Congratulations to you, and also to Emma, Jeremiah, and Olivia, and the incomparable Miss Kathy Jacobs back there. Thank you all for being here. We'll see you next time on Science Bowl. Bye now.